Hey guys, Must Take 550 here, and now I've got an updated version 2.0 of the Programmable Automatic Cash Register Store System. Uh, it's much faster and a heck of a lot smaller. Look at that, only four blocks wide, five blocks long, and only five blocks tall. So a heck of a lot shorter uh, and smaller, more compact and efficient, uh, and a cheaper system as well compared to the old version 1.0, which there'll be a link to that version if you'd like to see it. Uh, also in this system, it's set with the, a different filtering system, so it doesn't take, it only uses the standard 18 item filter, so that's a much, much more efficient than 9 stacks of whatever you wanted to take, and it's much faster too. So I've got it set to take 3 diamonds, and it pays out whatever you set to pay out nice and quick. Also I want to show that uh, this system is an upgrade for the, when the system is empty, uh, that it won't allow taking payment. So let's go take a look and see if the system is empty. What it will do is it will light up, but the new feature is if you try to make a payment, it won't even take it. So I think that's a nice upgrade as well. So let's go and see how we can make this system. All right, what you need, I've just set out a pad right here that's four blocks wide by five blocks deep. The stuff that you will need will be uh, 22 blocks. I've got uh, a bottom section of the system I'm going to use blue. Top system of the section will be green. Base blocks here are not counted in the 22 that you need total. Uh, you'll need five comparators, 13 redstone, two repeaters, eight redstone torches, eight hoppers, four droppers, one note block, two lamps, a chest if you want to just set it up to store your money, one item, a cheap item for the clock, 22 for the filter, uh, then just some items here, whatever you're going to pay out, plus I have some to uh, test the system with. Alright, so here we go. I'm going to go up two blocks here, uh, get rid of these, start out with the comparator, redstone, I need one hopper going into here, uh, a few temporary blocks, we'll put a hopper over here, uh, you can get rid of those, uh, then I need to come down one block, one redstone, one repeater, one block, and one torch, and then we're going to put one dropper on the very top of this. All right, and this is the basic item filtering for your system and takes the payment. Uh, so we want to set our filter inside of this hopper here, the one right below the dropper. So it's going to take 22 items. Put them all here, and you can test to see if it works by adding one more and it should click through and store them down here in this bottom one. You can put a chest if you like here and as you put them in the system you can collect them in the chest here. For you. And also it stores one. One will get trapped inside of this hopper here. All right, so that's the basic part of the system here. Uh, now we're going to put two blocks up, delete that. This is going to be the new counter system. Uh, it's much, much, much more compact. So we're going to put one dropper here and then one hopper feeding into it and then put the number of items that you want that you want to be paid. So I want three items. doesn't matter that they're diamonds here. Uh, I just like to keep it so I know what I'm what item I'm filtering keeps helps keep things in track. Anyway, so I've got three items in there. Uh, then I'll need to put one block here, one comparator, put a block up in front of the comparator, and a torch. Then I want to run two blocks down, one block here, one here. This is going to be the RS Norlatch. So you put one here, torch here, uh, then run out two redstone right here uh, and then cover this put two redstone here and one repeater here uh, so now the system should work whenever I pay in three items you see that will turn off it'll run three and then it switches back over so that way you know the system's working put in three watch it turn off turn back on so it should be working uh, all three of your items should return back here so now let's go to the top of the system. So we'll start out by going to block here, one here, here, 
one here, and then kind of zigzag it like this. Uh, redstone here. This is the other RS Nor latch. Redstone torch. Redstone torch. Uh, cover that with redstone all the way. Uh, now we need to have our clock. We'll go right here. So we need two hoppers facing into each other. And then put your clock item in here. And you should watch it. It should go back and forth. For convenience, for the rest of the video I'm going to switch this RS Norlatch back to the top section so that the clock will stop. Otherwise it would be a little annoying otherwise in part of the demonstration here. So next what we need using the shift key crouching uh, put a block here on the side two of those. Uh, I need one comparator here then I need my note block is going to go here if you uh, press shift you can get it where it'll go right on the edge of this comparator uh, and then I'm going to need two more blocks here uh, shift putting a block here and one here uh, two more comparators go in like this uh, then I will need to place one dropper facing this direction uh, right on the edge of that comparator uh, put in two of your hoppers here that will feed this is going to be the system that pays out oops don't do that all right so this will be the system that pays out whatever it is that you wanted to be paid so there's your I'm going to need a couple of these uh, but yeah put whatever it is you're wanting to pay out in here uh, your counting system will be right behind it so put one here hopper here however many items you want counted out I want two for the current system, put what you like. Uh, that will go here. Uh, make sure that you put a redstone right on top of this one right here. Uh, also, we're going to come over here, place a redstone torch here. This is going to be for the stopping the system from working when it's empty. Uh, and this torch here will be for the reset. Uh, we're just about done with this system. Uh, let's come down here, placing one block right on top. It should be right in here. Uh, beside this hopper right above this redstone. Uh, place one redstone on that. Then we're going to put some lamps in. And one here. So there should be two lamps here. Uh, this lamp won't actually be seen so you could actually put any kind of block that you want here. Um, I originally designed it with two lamps because they both light up but it doesn't seem to work whenever I close the system in you end up not seeing one uh, some design changes could probably show that but anyway uh, that's the basics of the system make sure you set a happy note on your block because remember your customers only like happy notes when they're purchasing something from your store alright to test the system we'll put in three hopefully everything works and here comes the loot alright uh, that is all for this system. Uh, hope you enjoy the upgrade. Thanks and bye.